I want to say good evening, everyone. Good evening. First selection will be page 519. Page 519. Sing the first and third standard of 519. <coughs> Together, let us sing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a page 479 page 479 sing first and third standard of 479 together let us sing I'm satisfied with just a cost below a little silver and a little gold but in that city I want a gold one, a silver line. I've got a mansion just over the hilltops in that bright land where we'll never go. And someday. in the light. I'll be leading verses 1 and 4. There's a call comes ringing over the restless way. Sing the light. Sing the light. There are souls to rescue. There are souls to save. Sing the light. Sing the light. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. 
601 come to Jesus. Number six, number 601 come to Jesus. I'll be reading verses one and three. Come to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for another day you have given us to be able to wake up today and to be able to come out here to church and be able to learn your word and take what we learn and use it in our everyday lives, Lord. We thank you for all the many blessings you have given us, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord. Please help the sick and poor and the ones that cannot be here at this time, Lord. We pray that you help them and we pray that you bring them to their much wanted house. Lord, please be with my mom as she uh, get ready to leave tomorrow to go across the country, Lord. We pray that you be with her every step of the way, and Lord, we pray that you guide her in every way, and Lord, we pray that you allow her to stay faithful with you and to lean on you whenever anything goes wrong, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Forgive us for our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Number 50, Amazing Grace. Number 50. First and fourth verses. Uh, come together. 134. First and third verses.
Seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all His things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah. As and it shall be given unto you. Scripture reading this evening comes from Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. And it reads, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Page 525, 525, I believe in the first and third verses of 525. <clears throat> Together, let us sing. If for the price we have striven, after our labors are over, rest to our souls will be given on that eternal shore. Happy and bright, and Jesus is there, and He is the light. Often the storm, lonely are we, we are sighing for home, longing for Thee, beautiful home of the ransomed. 
This evening will be page 602. 602. And the song before Jackson brings us the lesson will be number 496. 496. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid Thank you. 
Good evening. Thank you for coming down here to Lafette to worship, and we are all glad that you were able to come down tonight. Um, why should we study? God commands us to study, and we're to, we should be turning through pages of the Bible to learn God's word. As instructed in 2 Timothy 2.15, which reads, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We need to study to learn the truth. Turn me to John 8, verses 31 to 32. John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. It says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. God's word is our way into heaven. We read to understand what is true and right in the sight of God. As seen in Psalms 119, verse 11, see here, which says, Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. We need to study God's word in order to teach others. As seen in 1 Timothy 4.16. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. We must heed the words of God and share them with others. We need to live by these words as an example for those who we come into contact with. We also need to be ready to teach those who, are misunder who misunderstand the ways of God. In John chapter 5, verses 38 and 39... Give me a second. Jesus warns those who are not who has not heard his word abiding, who does not have their word abiding in them. But do you not have his word abiding in you because whom he sent you do not believe? You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these and these are they which testify of me. We must also study God's word to have a better life. We read about God's love for us. And the Bible tells us over and over of, his, of this love. We know from the Gospels that Jesus is our salvation, as seen in, God, in John 3.16, which most people know. It says, Which God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in, him, believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We can live each day with a peaceful heart because we, are, we have hope of eternal life when we have Jesus. Turn with me to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. This is an example Blessed be, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We should study to investigate those who teach. We need to make certain that those who we listen to are speaking the truth. In Acts 17 verse 11... It reads, These are more fair-minded fair -minded than those in Thessalonica in that they have received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things are so. When we, day, when, we, when we read God's word daily, we can recognize the instruction that's given to us. We should study to defend God's word and to be ready to give an answer, as seen in 1 Peter 3.15, which says, Be... But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. We should study to... Oh, wait. I already said that. Sorry about that. Next page. We must remember that all people should open God's word. This means... It, it, this may, mm, Sorry. That means Christians and non-Christians. As a Christian, we need to be fed spiritually, as seen in Matthew 4.4. 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We need, to, we need spiritual nourishment from God's word. Those who have not taken on the name of Christ should also be reading God's word to learn of the truth and the way to salvation. As seen in Acts chapter 4 verse 12.
which says, Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. God's word saves us, so everyone must be standing or studying it. We should study daily with a sincere heart, an open mind, and a serious attitude, as seen in Colossians 3.16. Let the word of Christ let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. The Lord wants us all to the Lord wants us all to know His will for us. The Bible lays out His will, giving us instruction on every aspect of our lives, as seen in Psalms one verses one through three, which Junior already read for us. We must read and study God's word, as seen in Psalms 119, verse 11. Which we read earlier, but I'll just read it again right quick. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. God's word is our path to eternal life. And if you haven't become a member of the church, or you are a member of the church, and maybe you don't study like you should, or you've fallen away... Please come forward, whatever you need, as we stand and sing. This morning, we'd like to partake of the Lord's Supper. Please come down to the front or raise your hand during the first verse of page 174. 174. Dear Heavenly Father, you thank this bread that represents the Son's body that was broken on the cross for our sins. Please bless it and bless those who partake of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
us pray. Dear Father, please bless this cup that represents the blood that was shed on the cross for our sins. Bless it and bless those who partake of it. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we have to give back a portion to you of what we've been blessed. Lord, please bless us and give, the time, give it this time and those who cannot. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Closing song this evening will be page 490. 490. Sing the first and fifth verse of 490. To Canaan's land I'm on my way with a soul. Aren't you glad you were here? Yeah. Such well-led songs, such uh, beautifully worded prayers, such a well-crafted sermon. I mean, I'm, I'm just honored and blessed to be in the presence of, of such fine young men. What a great example they are to all of us, wouldn't you agree? And we're just so very thankful for them and, and again, their courage and their effort. There have been some keys that were left in the ladies' bathroom. Uh, if you don't come and get them, number one, you can't get in your car. Number two, you can't get in your house. Number three, if you're running low on gas, you're not going to be able to stop and get any. And so you, if you're missing some keys, they, they are not mine, but I will have them, and you can come and get them from me. Uh, Brother Joy is going to lead us in a dismissal prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day you blessed us with, and we thank you for everybody that could come out tonight. We pray for those sick, Lord, that they could come be back to their most wanted health and be back with us next time, Lord. Thank you for, the, for this great day. We pray that we take this lesson and use it in our everyday lives, Lord, and we can do better in your sight. Thank you for your son sitting down on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>